Good morning, this is Al from Roof Ponics again. Yesterday, it was just coming down. All my materials had arrived. Um, I was thinking, oh, I'm really gonna get stuff done, but obviously, if it keeps pouring down, you're not gonna be able to glue a lot of PVC pipes. So, Sunday morning, 8 a.m. Today, we should be able to get stuff done. Um, so, I'm just gonna get right down to it, start cutting my pipes, start gluing some of those, preparing my bases to have it all raised up, and, um, <laughs> probably one or two extra trips to the uh, to the hardware store to pick up some, some bits and pieces that I forgot earlier. So let's get right to it. So um, unfortunately, I'm left to work with this horrible hacksaw, and when you start cutting it, um, you might say, well, that's crooked as hell. Um, yes, it is. Um, luckily, it's not going to matter too much, though. Uh, why is that? Because at the end of these, I'm going to add a smaller fitting. So this is going to go on both ends, uh, and essentially, the drain tube at the bottom is going to have 50 millimeter holes this goes from 100 to 50 so that it fits into it. it's going to basically sit on top of the 100 millimeter pipe that would be of course vertical like this so it's going to sit on top of it so the uneven edges the uneven cuts it's not going to matter that much um, and it's going to be a fitting like this in both ends basically the fitting below is going to have it um, well, it's going to center it in the hole below and on top it's going to be where I basically uh, fasten it to the top so it's going to be a, a bar across here that I can fasten it to here that bar is going to hold them all in place and can go up and down up that means I can take it out of the system basically as one module each of these vertical pipes is going to be one module and I can replace it clean it um, if I decide to move away from this apartment I can take it all with me that way uh, so it basically breaks down um, so it's going to be a, a, a portable low pressure aeroponic system that's the theory <laughs> let's see how that works out but yeah that's why it doesn't really matter too much if they're too crookedly uh, cut at the end uh, if I had a, a proper saw uh, it would have been a different story but um, yeah I'm not too worried though so let's see how this ends up Okay, so that um, that concludes the six uh, vertical tubes that I'm doing. Um, what I've done is I've cut off 60 centimeters out of the 200 that they came in. Um, that should be enough that I can fit them up um, below my ceiling, above my water tank, uh, with a little bit of a uh, an inclination towards the water tank, uh, as well as with the fittings, but still <laughs> below this. So I'm sort of limited in that. I cannot do the, the full um, the full two meter length tubes and even if I did um, I would need to get on on a ladder to harvest anything that came out of it I'm not sure sure I want to get on a ladder to harvest salad at the fear of falling from the fourth floor <laughs> on my terrace so that's basically the first step done now I need to do is cut out uh, similar 100 millimeter tubing it's gonna go alongside here make a 90 degree turn come back here and then I'll have three tubes and three tubes here um, in the future I may or may not uh, expand this this way um, but for now I'm just gonna start off with six and see if it all works out if it does not work out uh, because this is going to be a low powered sorry low pressurized uh, aeroponic system with misting if it does not work out if it's not efficient enough like some people are foreseeing um, what I can do is I can well, like I said, it's all modular, so I can take it apart again. I can reuse it to do aquaponics, sorry, hydroponics um, in the future, maybe aquaponics. So 
there's really nothing wasted as such. Um, I'll try some stuff out. If it works, great. If it does not, I'll try something else with the same materials. So it should be all good to go. So keep tuned in. If again, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below and like subscribe to see how this turns out. Thanks.